Scott Laboratories presents Drops of Knowledge. Proper yeast rehydration is one of the most important steps to help ensure a strong and healthy fermentation. Careful rehydration, attemperation, and inoculation are all important to help prevent sluggish or stuck fermentations. Step 1. Suspend rehydration nutrient. Go firm or go firm protect evolution in 20 times its weight in 110 degree water. Step 2. Once the temperature of the nutrient solution has dropped to 104 degrees, add the yeast. Stir gently to break up any clumps. Let suspension stand for 20 minutes, then stir again. Step 3. Slowly, over a 5 minute period, combine an equal amount of the must or juice to be fermented with the yeast suspension. Allow the yeast water must mixture to sit for another 15 to 20 minutes. This will help the yeast adjust to the cooler temperature of the must or juice and help avoid cold shock. This attemperation step may need repeating. Step 4. Inoculate by adding the yeast slurry to the bottom of the fermentation vessel as you begin filling the vessel with a must or juice. Important notes. Yeast slurry should never sit for more than 30 minutes without some introduction of fresh product to be fermented. Foaming or lack of foaming is not considered a sign of yeast viability.